Hello y'all. I have this piece of cardboard. It's from the back of these little Dollar Tree stickers that you can buy. And I just uh, measured it in a little round pattern. And I'm gonna cut that out and let's get started. I have this gift bag from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to take my new template here and uh, go ahead and cut it out the same size. I'm gonna glue both of these pieces together. I have some of these little faux round mirrors and I've used these before. And all they are is like the little stickers. You take off the front little film and then they're real shiny. And then you just take off the back as well. And, um, but you can hot glue gun them onto your project and like I said before put it on your project let it sit for a minute the hot glue then add these otherwise they'll bubble up in the middle and I'm going to add those to the center of my piece next I'll be taking these Dollar Tree silver plastic spoons that you get in the wedding party section and I'm just going to be taking them and placing them all around just like this and I'll be leaving the handle on this time I'm taking some of my flower mesh and cutting it up into just little individual pieces and I am just going to be putting my finger into the camera and then placing it around the side. I did two rows of the diamond mesh, just one on top of one another, and then I'm going to take a third one and kind of stick it in between these guys and I'm going to kind of place it where it goes up like that where the flower is actually coming out like more of a 3d effect i think it's going to be really pretty so using this little mesh that i have left um, from a previous project i went ahead and stuck it right down in the middle right on the sides in the center of that I'm placing a piece of flower mesh and I'm going to build that up with just some more flower mesh. I'm going to do it upside down and then right side up until it gets that 3D effect that I want. And now that I'm seeing like this little centerpiece with a ton of hot glue around it, I'm going to have to fix that. I'm now taking some more of these little flower mesh pieces and I'm placing them around each of the edges. I'm just gonna take this little bling right here. Um, I got these from the Walmart uh, section. I think it's like the arts and crafts section. And I'm just taking them and I'm going to place them right around each of the little spoon handles. I hot glued the Walmart gems just on each of these little sides here. And then at the ends, I took some flower mesh and put them just like that. And I hot glued them around. Then I also placed just these same gems right in the center, kind of in the middle of each of the flower mesh. I have taken more of the flower mesh and I'm putting it just kind of in between each of my little pieces of gem. And I'm also gonna do it right in the middle too where I put more gems and I'm just gonna go in between each one of those as well. I know it's getting complicated, it kind of. <laughs> I hope it's not like jumbling together on film and uh, yeah. So I'm doing a little cleanup at this point just as I go along and I wanna show you this. So this little side part right here that's like literally like right here. Um, I'm gonna take a little piece of diamond mesh and I'm gonna take these single pieces and go all the way around. And that way it's gonna cover up that work that I've done. If y'all can see that, if that makes sense. And um, yeah, and then we're gonna move on. 
I'm placing one pearl in each piece of flower mesh and I got these pearls from Walmart.